Facebook. What's up guys? Bobby C back here with another custom handgun quick look. Today we are looking at Bunker Arms 0003 and I wanted to just give you some quick insight as to what the features are on this firearm and uh, yeah just talk a little bit about it just kind of how I do in my other posts. So first and foremost um, earliest serial number Bunker Arms or Bunker Machine Works firearm that will probably ever be released. I know Brandon owns serial number one and serial number two, and then I have serial number three, which is the earliest serial number. And I also have serial number seven, which was the first serial number built out on Brandon's variants. So two super early serial numbers, two super early guns, however, two vastly different firearms. So as you guys know, 007 is a 38 super nine millimeter switch barrel, where this is a 45. And this firearm was built much later in the process than 007 was. This is the build approach that Brandon currently uses where he is uh, finely precision machining on CNC machines and, and then fitting parts together in a way that um, very few folks are, are doing in the firearms world. The other thing is, is this is right about the time where Brandon started machining all his own parts in-house. So almost every part on this firearm um, was was CNC produced at Bunker Machine Works, which is really cool. There's not many, if any, uh, manufacturers out there or builders out there that are using all their own parts. So let's look a little bit about, you know, some features, what this thing has, and, and we'll go from there. So first and foremost, we'll talk a little bit about the finish. This is a DLC uh, grained finish. It's flawless, gun looks amazing. Um, it's not that high polish, so it kind of, you know, it's it's that um, beautiful DLC shine meets a not extremely um, high polish um, firearm, which is which is great for for many uses, and it doesn't scratch up or it doesn't mar um, very easily at all. It just just looks great and classy and. Um, the, the graining is something that Bunker is known for. Um, we'll see cocking serrations at the rear of the slide instead of at the normal spot. And in there you have a completely flat um, a base with uh, the Bunker Arms cartouche. As always, beautiful Bunker Arms uh, burled wood grips. Brandon has... Um, he just knocks it out of the park with his choice in grips and the way the grips flow with his guns. I think it looks great. We have a KKM 45 ACP barrel um, that's also been DLC'd. As you can kind of see up top, we have a flat top with uh, like an arrow pattern with a black serrated front sight. And then um, really nice ball cuts up front with Brandon's radial bushing, a standard GI guide rod and spring as well as a medium curved flat trigger, or I'm sorry, a, a medium curved aluminum trigger. That's the only part of the entire firearm that does not have DLC. Bunker arms slide stop, bunker arms thumb safety, bunker arms grip safety, 30 lines per inch up front, 30 lines per inch in the back, and we have this really cool round butt magwell that's also blended perfectly, and the grips are cut perfectly for that. Um, checkered magazine release to match 30 lines per inch up front and in the back. And then on this side, we have this chamfered out slide stop um, pinhole on the frame. Blending on this firearm is, is lights out. Um, bunker arms, hammer, trigger on this is a very light roll at just about three pounds, I'd say. Um, we have a really nice chamfer down at the bottom of the slide. We have a interesting ball cut going across the top of the slide. We have a bunker arms rear sight base with a flat blade, um, or I'm sorry, a, a target serrated blade and then, I mean, just look at that machining, or I should say that blending there. That That is pretty much flawless. You, you almost, it almost looks like one piece. And you can say that for the majority of the firearm. The, the blending on this firearm is 
um, is pretty pretty outstanding. Um, up front as well, you can't see any front um, any front dove tail at all. Um, everything just flows and, and works um, and is is dehorned nicely with with still keeping um, you know the true sharper edges of of the 1911 which I, I personally like a lot um, the one thing that I will say and and I can only say this about a handful of Smiths out there um, if you took this logo off this gun and just looked at it I could instantly and immediately tell that this was this gun was built by Bunker Machine Works or Bunker Arms. It just has a very distinct style in the graining, in the way the grips fit, in the blending, especially the grip, uh, the grip safety, in the non-dovetail rear sight base, which a handful of other guys do that. Um, but really, cocking serrations in the back, the way this, the way this is um, right in here on the slide, and just the way the gun's executed, it it screams Bunker Arms or Bunker Machine Works. And uh, yeah, I, I I love this gun. Can't say enough about it. It's, the gun is beautiful. Feels feels amazing in hand. It just it's it's soft, um, but at the same time grippy. So if uh, if any of you guys have ever felt a a custom firearm that's been dehorned the right way, um, when I say soft, you, you'll probably know what I'm talking about. But this thing just feels soft, but it's not overly. Um, it's not overly dehorned where it feels like you're, you're grabbing a bar of soap for, for example. Um, this is, this still feels like a true 1911 in the hand, which in my opinion is, is kind of what I seek or what I look for when it comes to this stuff. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, things outstanding, really, really, really like it a ton. Um, if you guys have a chance, go check out Bunker Arms or now Bunker Machine Works. Um, check out what he's doing. Uh, definitely doing things a bit differently in the 1911 world than the majority of the custom builders out there. Uh, not building many firearms these days, just supplying parts to big name builders. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys liked it. Uh, stay tuned for the next one. Catch you soon.